Hello and welcome. My name is Reef, yeah. as always, and you're joining me for some more Pillars of Eternity. Well friend. Hello, Liana, you nice lady. Welcome. This is your first visit to Villain Trading Company. Is it not? Please let me know how I can assist you. Oh, what is this place? Uh, the Villain Trading Company is an associated with merchants from Villain Republic. We oversee trade deals and negotiations on behalf of our merchants. This is a warehouse where we store goods in transit. You have more business to discuss? Uh, who are you? I am the assistant manager of this warehouse. Currently, I help Verzana run things, but I'll take over when he retires. When the company boss is back home, decide it's time for new management to roll their eyes. Farewell. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something about your management. I'm gonna take this fucking company, make it my own, and make a fucking killing. Become rich. Apprentice, keep those crates moving. Mister Verzano, a man stands in the corner of the warehouse, directing traffic. Gems wink from the many rings on his hands and his fingers as he points and wears at the laborers. His silk gloves, though brand new brilliant, are new. You notice a clump of mended seams around the shoulders and a discreet, discreet patch on one elbow. Greetings. You have come to the warehouse, headquarters of the Valiant Trading Company. Ho, ho, ho. He consults a pocket watch. <laughs> Some of the gold filigree has tipped away. But you are late. I sent word to the expedition hall yesterday. This delivery cannot wait. He snaps a watch shut. Um, who was that feathered woman? Ah, you must mean Pelican. She's a pilot and the employee of the Veligan Embassy. He chuckles. She's a good troll, but not as good as taking orders. Too hard a temper, I'm afraid. Uh, she did seem angry. Uh, that is no surprise. She's hot-headed a woman and brotherhood of paladins and touched by the gods in such an unusual way. Something else I can help you with, or shall I return to my business? Uh, what's the delivery? I must assume, then, that you are not from the company I contact the expedition hall, but you are here, and they are not. It's a bag of bitter squash seeds, which are prized for their medicinal properties. Few merchants in the past didn't pay deal with them, but those who do know their value. Um, so that seems simple enough. Why ask me? My own careers have been robbed and beaten these past weeks. It would seem that some of my competitors resent my success, and in any case, you are not a known associate. You would be left alone, and if not, ah, well, you look like you could handle yourself. And as for your integrity, I suppose I would just have to trust you, as you will have to trust my assurance that you won't find a buyer out of my contract. Ah, well, can I'll do it. Excellent. Now I'll deliver this package to a man named Gareth at the Goose and Fox and Cop Lane. He will know what to do with it. He slips a bag of filthy seeds in your hands. Return to me when you're done, I shall see to your payment. Good day, stranger. Farewell. Yeah. So we have a quest, which is good. Um, I still don't have the company as my own. I have a few things to do in town, which is good. Really good. Uh, still kind of looking for that missing father-son combination. Though it does seem that the lady cares more about her missing son than she does. And let's go to the shack, shall we? Um, yes, I can That's unlock it. Cool. We unlocked it and inside we will find the son and father. Or not. We found, um... No. If secrets whisper here, I shall listen for them. So we broke into a house to get some, to get fuck all, and much of it, many, many, many fuck alls. No hiring, now hiring builders, no experience needed. You don't leak like look like the There's person. A smell in the air, damp, stale, bone and hair, makes my fur stand on end. Could be. Unlocking mm -hmm. this will require a proper key. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let us look for someone that would have a proper key then. This young lanky sailor is wringing his cap anxiously, sweat beating 
<laughs> on his furred barrow. His eyes widen as you approach and he takes a few steps forward. And I take a swig of my beer. Continue. Well met, friend. If you have a moment, you're not from around here, are you? You don't look like you're from the docks. I could use your help. Um, any chance you've seen a little boy named Darren? Oh, yeah, sure. He wanted to plan a ship, but I couldn't let him. Well, John's very strict about this sort of thing. I had to show him off. Felt a bit bad about it. So I'm heading towards the Salty Mouse. Not really somewhere you ought to be playing. Hope you find him. Uh, what's the problem? Oh, thank you. They weren't lying, saying you're a kind hearted sort. He runs his hand through his head nervously. It's a captain, rather, not the captain's up, but his chest. Uh, his sea chest. Uh, he keeps all his valuables here, tucked away safe. I was unloading it with the rest of the things, but with us staying in the port for a couple of days. Uh, I may have gotten a little distracted. Uh, it wasn't gone long, just an hour at Salty Mast. When I got back, the chest was gone. It really hasn't been that long. Whoever took it, it couldn't be too far, but the ship's changed and I'm on watch. I can't sneak off to look for it, and the captain will kill me if he hears of it. I'll get strung up in the yard room. Please, if you could get back for me, I'll swear by the flame I'll make it worth a while. You can have my pay. I won't be spilling it if Captain Finner finds out anyway. Um, what, any ideas where the thieves might have taken the chest? Well, the chest itself is pretty heavy. Nobody, if asked, has seen it getting carried around. I figured they must have stuck it off somewhere nearby, just out of sight. They can't have gone far. There's a pretty good lock on it, too. I'm sure they haven't got it open. And they say to connect to it, I suppose. Oh, God. If they've got it open, I'm really done for. Um, farewell. I wanted to be like, hey, man, your chest is right here. But, uh. No, that's uh, clearly not the case. Uh, here we have a sailor, here we have another sailor. A dozen Adiran ships were shattered against these levees during the War of Defiance. Best to heed the astrologers, I find. What? Why is there... What exactly is going on here? Come on, you motherfuckers. We're gonna fucking wreck you, mate. We're gonna start off by, um... Using soil ignition on you. And we're going to start off by using, uh, well, just fucking attacking you, really. And, uh, we have third level spells now. Jesus Christ. Pillar of Faith. Uh, well, we're just going to cast this on you, shall we? Um, you're just going to attack him, no problem. You're going to shoot him with your pistola. You're going to punch the living shit out of this thing. Go! Okay, good. So, time to test out our level 1 spells. We have Dire Blessing, Strengthen, Allies Resolve in Battle, Increasing the Probability they will land a critical hit. That does sound good, doesn't it, eh? And uh, you will uh, use your mind things. And you will use this attack on the animat, or not, or rather on them. I should probably use restore spells on him. And uh, also summon these brothers. And I uh, think this animat could be a problem. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, we want to. Hmm. 
see, we have Blessing. We have none of those things. He's actually fine. We can just use him to attack. I can use her to attack. You can use her to, uh... To attack that animat. And he can attack that animat. And you keep on doing whatever you're doing. Which is, uh, probably dying. Um, excuse me. Where is the others oh, over there? Keep on attacking that motherfucker. Um, you keep on doing whatever you're doing, and you. We have so many new spells. Hmm. Such cool looking shit though. Okay, that's no problem. No biggie. We'll uh just have him keep something else. Putting us down. That didn't work. Just all take on the fucking animat. If he's down he can't summon. Our giant has been overwhelmed! Well, uh, I guess that was the case originally, so I'll just use this, and you use a big heal, like a really big heal, like a really big heal. And you use uh, this mode. Which uh, probably sorts out the problem right from the start, if you think about it. Wow. Binding copper, animate all armor. Some good fucking uh, loot here. Eh? Didn't expect to uh, have a fight in town. This is quite interesting though. Can't move there. Okay, fine. That's a valiant sailor. Another animat. How many fucking animats are there? Okay, what I'll do is uh, I'll test out my. I'll test out my bad ideas. It seems is what I shall do. Uh, in case of target protective shell, absorbing all damage. That would be good. And uh, a big area bless would be much kind. Boy. Well, this is good. And she has many, many things. Uh, secret horrors. Eh? Let's see what it does. My mind feels is she still casting that thing? It does seem that way, isn't doesn't it? And uh, he can probably go that way, and she can probably just uh, fire yeah. down that. Consider it dead. Well, this is going quite well. Let me just use this thing. Oh, 
I can uh, summon things, right? Following Here. As uh, is not going well. This is not going well at all. Yeah, this is uh, going a fair bit better. We are actually winning the battle, it would seem. Oh man, we're gonna get so rich of selling all this shit. Yeah. While we're at it, before yes. I forget, uh, can I edit a chance, right? Because you have two chance you're using. You're using at the site, bless it has. Uh, I want, uh, I think. Known phrases. Chance to spend most of the time in combat speaking chance, chance holding grains and strings of magical phrases that produce different effects. As one phrase ends, its effect will linger, overlapping with the effects of the next phrase. No chance reaches the end of the final loop phrase, it will loop back to the beginning. Careful arrangement of phrases can produce a powerful sequence of passive effects. Yeah, I think this is good. So we have this, 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 this running. Good. And he has his chant ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's fine. We have all that. We're going to save. Eh? And we have killed a good number of things in the area. Okay, that's not too bad. Let us find more of these fucking cunts to kill. What's this? Daring young boy's corpse lies at your feet. Half covered in dirt and seaweed, his hands have stuffed and around a dagger. Soul lingers nearby, something confused and lost in the seaside. Reach toward the soul. As you reach for the soul, it lashes out, glowing mist strikes at the around you. The soul can't touch you, but you can feel it burn with feeble and control rage. It's okay. okay. It's okay, Dylan. I'm here to help you. The soul flickers as it ripples towards you, timidly at first. As it swirls around you, you express wonder, fear, and the joy of running between the sips of the moon. For jolt, it pulls you into the street around the salty mast. Women with painted faces weave between men, stumbling in and out of the lamplight. Father's gone in for a drink, just like always. He said it only be a few minutes. But it's been hours, the man guarding the door only laughed when he tried to explain this. There's always a back door, in an alley two men have cornered a woman. Her cheeks are streaks of tears. She's backed against the wall, looking away, wrenching closer. You step forward, the men barely acknowledge you, but the woman looks at you, a plea in her eyes. You've seen that look in abused trays. In your hollowbone sister, that time, father took her from the splintering carrion to the fold washbone. You were brave that day. A knife is in the thug's belt, it's in your hands, and now it's in his eye. You're small and fast, but not fast enough. Fingers biting your arm and a muddy boot sails across the dry with your face. Then everything is muffled by cold, brackish water. Stu's to saw retreat from you is pulses with a question. You did a brave thing. The gods will reward you in the next life. Then so observes the thought and ebbs in the ocean mist around the dock. Young boy's corpse lies at your feet. Take the dagger. Boy's hands are rigid and deaf, but you pry the dagger. It looks too large and too expensive to have belonged to him. The letter B is graved in the pommel. Hmm. The letter B. B for brave daring. Well, it's uh, time to find out who the fuck killed this fucking boy. Because he, he, he's better gonna, he's, he, he better know he's going to have his face kicked in. Uh, 
Uh, I don't see a back door here. I mean, I don't see any shady things anyway. Okay, so let's see the question all. Tell Oda about Darren's fate. I picked up a dagger with the being. It most likely belonged to Darren's killer. Okay. Uh, abandoned house. Oda's house. We have an order for you, sir. Jeez. So it gets so fucking dry when recording. It really helps to have something to drink nearby. Mm. Order, I have uh, sad news. Ah, uh, honestly, have you found my Darren yet? The first option is the honest one. Darren was murdered. I'm so sorry. The second one is, I don't know how to tell you this, but he's gone. I can't imagine your grief, which is passionate. You may want to sit down. Darren won't be coming back. Diplomatic. Or I could lie, or tell him he's dead, but you really expect anything else. I think I'm going to go with the passionate, because I'm a passionate fucking monk. Oda's mouth falls open. She stares back at her. My, my boy's dead. Dead? That can't be. What happened? Dared was defending one of the prostitutes from a couple of thugs. He was very brave and you should be proud. Um, I think Dared was defending one of the prostitutes from a couple of thugs is the right option. She sobs and quickly brings her hand to her hand mouth. Her eyes are bright with tears. God, how could this make it any better? I would never have let my boy die for one of those women and yet... I can only pray the gods will be kind to him in the next life. Maybe there's hope for one of my children. After several seconds, she closes her eyes and swallows. I suppose it's better to know the truth than to keep wondering. Thank you, at least, for bringing me an answer. Here, take this. I've been saving several keepsakes for Darren one day, but he won't need them now, and I don't feel ever will ever have another child to pass on to him. Got it. I wonder who killed... Who would, who would be cruel things to a fucking whore? And then kill a fucking boy. Uh, Alof returns his song of Gotham spoils away to the Great Wall Treasury. Oh. Alof, my good sir, you did well. Spoils away. How's our crafting? Finished in 17 hours. Good. Good, good, good. So I'm gonna go here, right? I'm gonna find out what the fuck is going on in this place. And, uh, well, I'm gonna probably sleep with another girl. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, just me. <laughs> so, uh, let's see, who are you? Brothel Patreon, Brothel Patreon. Maya. Hey, stranger. Uh, what kind of trouble are you having? Uh, the kind of bad for business. Local rallies have taken to harassing my hard-working boys and girls. And our customers, they start showing up after the rash of olive burn. They've been driving my regulars away. She looks up and you scratch her chin. There are too many who care about what happens in places like the gift. But word is you're an exception. The knights are too busy sniffering out Dirk Avor to bother with us commoners. And I'd just as soon not deal with their bureaucracy anyway. Um, tell me how I... No one should be harassed, I'll put an end to this. Yes. These thugs seem to room group, urban group, which suggests to me that these are random incidents. You put a stop to these attack and I'll find a real nice way to thank you, she winks. Got me? I fucking know. I thought I'd just go chat up the guard with the wide hips person, but we ought to stop people getting trashed, at least. Um, I've got some questions. Um, what do you know about these attacks? You have to step outside to see for yourself. These thugs are out there just waiting to go to for anyone coming and going. She decides to you up. Maybe they would have let you pass, however. I'll see what I can find. I think it's these thugs, right? They're the guys that fucking killed that boy. These fucking bastards. They're gonna, they're gonna bring out the real, real fucking, uh, mean ass, mean spirited. I don't know. Persona in me. Uh, four people stand together around what appears to be a wooden chest. One of them, a grizzled and rough looking character, looks up at you and says, Took a wrong turn somewhere, did you? Best turn around and walk on. 
There's a sound of snapping sound from the direction of the chest and the second smaller man lets out a frustrated groan. Damn it, that's the second lockpick. He looks up at you and stills. Oh. Ah, he walked on the last pier. The last pier, they say. Did you hear that, guys? They, they, they said I walked down the last... Well. I'll have your soul burn. Your soul will burn. That's what's going to happen. And you are going to be like, bam. And you are going to be like, mm, going to cast one of these. And he's going to be all like, yeah, bitch. Going to shoot you. And she's going to just shoot you. And uh, Wolfie is going to attack. And things are going not so good. Well, I uh, might as well just use this guy. Also, I have a sword, don't I? Yes, I do. Well, that's a really strange thing you're doing there. What? Come on, use it. And uh, heal as well. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this thug. Shed no fear. Yeah. Let's go. Wow, they just fucking exploded. Oh, there's one left. Well, uh, I'm sorry to hear about you. But you're fucked, my friends. I think that was uh, them. Wow, that was some sweet looting. No problem. No problem. The sea test bears a large embossed seal of ship and the word fort and error. And if it uh, take the sea test. Let's see what's down this way, shall we? Oh, nothing. It's just uh, the same empty spot. Um, there used to be a guy, I think he is about here. And he needs his test back. And I think he is going to reward us kindly. With much gold and sex with that uh, the lady. So we're gonna get a nibble it. Hello there, what do we have here? Not a gift. Um, I don't think so. Bitch! You all fucked with the wrong people now. Um. <laughs> Gonna switch back to my pistola. Go like BAM! Oh, you should probably also uh, switch to these brothers. And uh, you, being you, should attack them! And attack. Where is she? I don't see her. Oh, there she is. This uh, s talk oh, does a lot of damage. Come on, just punch him one. One shot, just one shot. Work. Bam, bitch! My 
thoughts were dulled. Dum 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 dum. <clears throat> do you have any healing effects? Yes, you do. Need something? I love how these people are just standing there like, ah, uh, uh, let's just ignore this battle going on here. Uh, it's, it's none of our business, you know. Wow. Fucking money is good. Rusty bronze key. So brush from years exposed to the salt chair. Got it. Well, uh, I do think I know where this belongs. I think it's over there. Tup, 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 Good day, stranger. You. Here you are, context and act. You did it, I mean, you knew it, but oh, thank you, it's all here. You saved my life, friend. Truly, I owe you one. Here, the week's wages, like I promise. Um, try to be a little bit scared from now on. I will, I will never sit foot in Salty Moss again. Well, I mean, not while I'm on watch, at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought as much, you motherfucker. Okay, so we are going back here. Because that's the only place I know that actually needs a key for me to get in. And uh, as you guys know, you mean you never, you never makes sense. I don't yeah. have a proper key. Oh, it's probably that ramshackle house over there. Oh well, back to the salty mess it is for us. Why not do that? Find out from me, the owner of Sultima, wants to stop the thugs. To house on in Andra's gift. Uh, abandoned house, abandoned house, abandoned house. I think it's this one. <clears throat> I mean. It's just the addicts in there, this coal fix house over there. We did break into this house earlier, but there was nothing inside. Well, hello, good sirs. Um, how can I uh, assist you, you know? Yeah, no problem. Uh, you don't look like one of the knights. Can I help you with something? Yes, I'm here about trouble with the salty moss. Ordinary kids are angry, as I should be with that crooked Amana toting up the nobles, she says. She's using a tragedy of Wade's legacy to line her pockets. She's no better than the Adrian Ogles who drove out 200 years ago. People around here know you've been an honest broker. May has made it so that the rich can afford her establishment. Yet she sits in the poorest district of Defiance Bay. How's that fair? You've taken matters in her own hand, but she's a real criminal here. Why don't you tell her to back down? Well, um... I'll see if I get Mia to lower her prices, but uh... I doubt that she's going to fall for it though. Come on, faster! Move faster! Faster! We'd expect these people to run faster than they're running towards a brothel. But you never know. Okay, Mia. Greetings. Um. Uh, here you have been uh, raising prices. What else am I supposed to be about to provide certain measures for my employees and the client, especially with so many hollow burn in the district? And with the price of a bit of squash as high as it is, I've got no choice but to raise mine. And don't get me started on the cutthroat business, uh, not with the demoners carrying on the way they do. 
I could talk with the most about their best cost prices. If your neck recounted them all, it would be easiest to persuade she handles the family books with any luck. You can find out their manor over in Brackenbury. Just watch your step around here. Watch your step around all of them. Oh, this thing runs fucking deep. That reminds me, I need to give some... Ah, uh, fucking... How so what I'll do is um, I'll make my way over here and I think I'll end this episode right here and in the next one I'll probably go to the rich district and go talk to all those knobby knob knobs. Or no, I'm going to go back to the... Downwind. I need to smell like part of nature, not an interloper. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, I'll continue on next time. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys again soon. Bye bye.